Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Laid Back Vape Show. You can abbreviate it to LBVS if you want to, but whatever you fancy. Welcome. Um, this is episode 193. I'm getting too old for this. Shizzle. shizzle. Other people may use the shit word. But for shizzle, anyway. my nizzle. And yeah, this evening, obviously, you got myself, you got Steve, you got Kurt, and we got Dave, lovely Dave joining us. Welcome, Dave. Um, what, Dave? Bye. Bye, Bye Quite really cool. Oh, and hello, true. everybody in the land of Chatness. Hope everyone's doing well on this Monday. I'm oh, in cool. the bar. It's a bit cold. But then when isn't it cold in here? Uh, Which also, I've got slight problems. You know, I was scheduled to get this bar done next week. Your birthday, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So it's on hold now because the person that was helping me has damaged his tendon in his thumb. So it's going to have to wait now. But never mind. Use his other hand. Put two hands. I know. I know. It's rude. Right. Anyway, moving on. So we're going to go through what we're vaping on as Dave is our guest stroke. Is he a guest or is he? I don't know if he's a guest. No, I'm just trying to know any. Father. Just like it. Father. He comes on every so often. Um, we'll let oh. Dave go first. What are you sucking on, Dave? Um, on the Ethos Borough from Dolph Poe. Nice. With some King's Custard Lemon. I like that. Have a bit of lemon. On the stubby with the shift burrow with some Dr. Vapes Royale inside salts, and I'm also on the Cross Pro 0.6 pod with some <laughs> salts from uh, the yeah. burger. A cherry cola one, it is the cherry cola. It's always got to be, I, you know, I'm a cola fan. Awesome, I do like that's why I got some there. What's some now? I do like a cola. But um, okay. yeah, and apart from that, um, there's a few other bits and pieces floating about. But this is what I'm mainly on this evening. Just um, just randomly, what did you have for dinner? <sighs> I went to Morrison's Cafe and I chandled down a breakfast, which was actually quite disappointing. To be fair, it was quite cold, but um, I'm glad mm. I've done it because I've I've been here for four years and never tried it, uh, and I'm glad I didn't try it at the start. To be fair. Yeah, yeah. Uh, He's only so done it once. Just cured that curiosity. Do you know what I mean? That's true. Cured that curiosity. Who do you want to pass it around to? I will pass it. I'm going to pass it to young Steve there because I'm just I'm mesmerised by his wonderful dark beard for a man of his sort of stature and age. <laughs> age. Um, I've just got the usual shizzle. Uh, I tank to Lost Vape Centurus M200 and. Some as piles or all that. Uh, that is me, Kurt. What are you vaping on, sir? Just as Steve, Steve, what'd you have for dinner? Uh, something really boring. I had a um, crumpet with cheese on. Oh, no, yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Square ones. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, crumpet. You should have marmite, cheese, and marmite on a crumpet. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing all of that. Anyone talking about marmite? Oh, we love marmite. Uh, Marmite's great. Steve, if Steve was in chat, he loves Marmite. Steve, Marmite's filth. <laughs> the food yeah. of the devil. Go on, Kurt. In honour of Loon, I am on the X Merc with some Wolfpack strawberry laces, courtesy of Sarah Sadler. Oh. I haven't seen that one before. She sent me them. Um, and then I am on the Lost Vape B60. Uh, with the shift borough and some root beer from Aramaxi. Aramaxi is beautiful. Can't get enough of it. And then I'm on this thing. Can never remember what it's called. It's from Smo Um And in that, I have got some bad juice, cherry cola. Nice. Don't ask what I had for dinner because I've not had it yet. No, I haven't had mine yet either. But I am having full English. Oh, nice. It's nice. all ready. It's waiting. It's in the, it's in the kitchen, ready to mm -hmm. be cooked. Lovely. I think I've got meatballs. Just throwing it out there. But I haven't had it yet. So. What, what, are you, what are you sucking on? Pasta and meatballs. Um, on pasta and meatballs? Yeah, no, I'm not. Nice. I got, so I got the orange uh, cross pro uh, with some... I always have cherry. I'm just really boring. Um, cherry? Salt, cherry ice going on in there. Then I'm going to switch it up. And I've got the Gen 200 with the iTank 2. Uh, inside of which I've got some lovely rosiest custard that oh that is a good one not not a lot left 
You would really like that, Dave. You like your um, rhubarb flavors. That is a really good one. I don't, I've actually tried. I have tried that. Uh, you have tried it. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's, yes, it's great stuff. Great stuff. It's the dog stangies. Um, I got the stubby with the shift. Maybe return. Um, get it? Keyboard shift return. Oh no, just me. Um, inside it, I got the GTX coil zero point eight. Inside it, I've got some jacked. Um, black currant is black currant and cherry, and it? Yeah, it is black currant and More cherry. cherry. Um, which is good. And lastly, which I haven't had a vape on yet, but I'm just about to. Uh, my Luxx Pro and some fabulous fruits, juicy mango, just for Kurt. Okay. Uh, mango. Hold well on. Well done. Uh, is, yeah, taste the mango. It's good. It's good. It's, not it's, it's all fucking dirty. There you go, and that's it. That's it. I think it's about time we said hello to some lovely people in chat. Hello, people. We do that. Are we going to run? Are we going to run VT first? Yeah, we'll run VT, and then I've got a little message before we read out people in chat. So here we go. long now that one thanks it does go on a little bit i'm not gonna lie do you want me to go through people what are you gonna do um oh go on mate why not what you do it but firstly before we do that sorry go sorry sorry um we are doing a give away this evening reach around hashtag whatever um which will be for the lovely people at vapresso are giving away a lux x i've got some other bits and pieces that i'll probably throw in there as well and Dispergo are going to be giving away. Give it away, give it away, give it away. Yeah. Should, do I do, should I do Jacked or Bar? Do Bar. Ah. Bar. bar. We'll do it's Bar. Do Bar, um, yeah. Bar, bar Juice. Five. Five flavours from the Bar Juice range in 5, 10 or 20 milligram. Go for Cherry Cola. lucky receiver decides yeah. to go with. And if you don't like salts, I apologise, but there will be weeks coming where you will be short fills available. Uh, Craig was the first in. Nice Hi, Greg. Craig. Uh, sorry, uh, I'm going to put X1 in chat for that, so I can start putting... Yeah, do that. X1. Thank you. Lizzie, hello. Lizzie. Lizzie. We got Andy Oakley, the lovely man of a thousand recipes. Oakley, right. Oakley. Blazing, don't know who he is. Blazing. Okay. We got Metal Vape. Uh, we've got Billy Lee Rice. Billy Lee. Lee. How are you? Um, we have got my cable mark. Blazing again. What are you doing? Uh, did you oh, blazing's going on, isn't he? Vaping snowman. Snowman. TBS. We have got James Vape Stuff. Hey, James. Blazing. How are you, mate? Mrs. Blazing. Hi, Blazing. We've got Jay Jevons. Jay, how are you? It's grateful, Spanish. Ant. Grateful. Hi, Bunny. Ah, oh, Bunny, how are you? We got Barry. Hi. Barry. Pixie Juice. Hello, Barry. Oh, hi, Barry. Um, I don't know why I'm talking Jane. like Frank from Jane. Jane. Hi, Jane. Jane Lord. Hello, Jane. I need, to, you? I need to have a word with Jane later about BD, uh, BD oils. You boys got the video. Bit. You got the video ready. <coughs> yeah. I, I need a bit of. Hang on. Bear with. Bear with. I've got it. I've got it. Got it. Oh, he's got right, it. Go. My name, my name. My name, my name. My name, my name. Well, that's going to go on for about an hour. So, right, then. I think you should dedicate a whole show to that one, though. Hi, Steve. <laughs> Steven, on the book of face. Welcome. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Ron. How are you, mate? 
Uh, uh, um, Aaron, you get that from Aaron. We've got uh, Lewis. Lewis! Lewis! Uh, we've got Lewis is in the house. Hello. Hello, Deke. Um, just looking to see if there's anybody new that I've not mentioned. <laughs> there's Sarah's in there. There we go. Yeah. There he is. It's a Sarah. I think. AI is like reverse Hitler to me. We'll I think we are there. No? That, I think we're there. Yeah. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for welcome, joining us. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, hang on. Oh, have you forgotten? There we go. That is what's on. Stop. Colin, Stop. how are you? Stop. Where's yeah. our mate? Where's Faxi? No, safe to Faxi. Faxi. Faxi, if you're watching on the replay, what is going on? Yeah, safe, bro. I'm just going to do it. They are Faxi. It's for you. And we have got, got Matt Green as well. Hello. Matt Green. Matt Green, the king of the fairgrounds. So, obviously, the, the, the name of the show tonight is Getting Too Old for This Shizzle. What what are we all getting too old for? Is what I want to know. Everything. Life. What are you getting too old for, Ian? Come on. Start the ball rolling. What are you getting too old for? I'm I'm not gonna lie, I am missing getting out of the shower, looking down at my feet and seeing my penis. You're missing that. You've got a little bit of a belly, have you? A little bit. It's not that it's still there. The I'm not saying, I am not saying I do not own a penis anymore. <laughs> Um, don't use it no more it's, it's, it's harder to spot these days okay that's all i'm saying yeah no, i'm yeah, with you mate i'm with yeah, you it, it, my, 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 not, I, i'm not missing seeing your penis but i'm missing <laughs> my, my poor seems to be going lower uh, down you see the the thing, you know, further up. yeah you're not gonna miss that he sends now. photos every day my, my, my excuse is because it, it's still quite cold out there so and also, right, so I've got, so from where the office is at Desbergo, right, down to the shop, which is where I run up and down all day. Um, as I run up the stairs now, I can feel my belly slapping on my groin, which is, <laughs> it's not. Close on. I, know, I, know I'm, I know I'm 25 now, but I didn't expect that to happen at 25. I didn't. I'll tell you what, when I, when, before I was, got the, um, Diabeto. <laughs> I've got on a lot of weight. I've, got, I've lost quite a bit now, so I'm, I'm all right. I can see my PP again. If I come <laughs> into the shop ever, and you know when you run down them stairs, I'm going to be going. And it, it, yeah, it literally does sound like that, but a, a slightly <laughs> less loud version. <laughs> you won't need to do it. You'll hear it. <laughs> I, mean, I could just pick myself up and say, that's not my belly, but people aren't going to believe me, to be fair. So... Yeah. <laughs> that's not what I thought it was your keys. God, Jane's got a mental image. I'm really sorry, Jane. I'm I'm not going to be able to keep a straight face when I see you at Expo. Well, 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 I think what I like about getting old is when you've been sitting down for a while, you go to get up or do something, and how much of a body starts clicking and creaking. It sounds like mm -hmm. someone got a bit of bubble wrap and stuff. Steve, when you get up, do you do the obligatory? Oh yeah, yeah, I, I do. I, I do. I just reaching over for a drink and it mixes the chair. <laughs> Everything just gets a little bit more difficult. Quite yeah, frankly, I, it does. I think as I'm getting just... older, I'm, suffer I'm suffering falls less. Do you know what I mean? I can't. I'm, I'm getting more and more contagious as I get older. Get angry. Mm. I, get, I do get angry. I, do, I get be... angry. Do you know what? It, what annoys me is it's, it's actual. Day -to -day really grinds my gears. Balls your bits. Day to day stupidity is what angers me most. Do you know what I mean? People that just can't do something that's so simple, you can see it's simple. You just think, why, 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 why are you here? What, what are you doing? But the trouble is with me is that my mind thinks I'm ten, and I still laugh at a fart. But and yet I can't. My body thinks I'm like ninety-four. Yeah, no, but I'm, I'm like that. Whenever I go around the supermarket, it, it's it seems to be that I time it just right that the special bus has just turned up and it's full of fucking idiots. So. Just, are you going to be one of those neighbours, Dave? Like when a ball comes over, you're just going to fucking pop it. <laughs> yeah, Mum, I've lost the ball. He's got, a, he's got a nail ready. Get off my lawn. Uh, it's one of them things, isn't it? You know, like it's just like oh, if you know. I, I was when I was brought up, I was brought up. You don't throw balls over there, and then like it'd be burst. Do you know what I mean? Because where I lived in Nam, it was a bit sort of vicious. Do you know what I mean? If your ball went over someone's garden, the next thing you know, the neighbour would be knocking your door, making you paint their fence. 
<laughs> that's the sort of area I grew up in, do you know what I mean? Like a chain gang, like you'd be chained to like each pole until we, the crew so it soaked in and you had to do it with your hands. <laughs> Rub it till it was smooth. Okay. Yeah. Matt Green had a six pack, now he's got a keg. Yeah, with yeah. you, Matt. With you. It's all right though. It's a fuel tank for a sex machine. That's what someone told me years ago, and I've always <laughs> always stuck dad, by that. Dad bods on it, apparently. Dad bods on the thing. Yeah, yeah, dad bods rule. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah, but does anyone else find it hard when when you're going to kneel down or something and getting back up? It's like yeah, when it, when it, whenever Stewie wants a bit of fussing, I'll get down on the like get down the floor, give him a bit of fuss and a bit of play, I'm trying to get back up. It's a fucking nightmare. <laughs> not got, I've not got there yet. Oh yeah, I'm fucking, <laughs> you know when I go oh, go to the other side of the room, it's just like yeah, just give me five minutes while I try and get it's up. The, it's the it's the getting out of bed in the morning. That that I have to stretch for a good minute before I get my body moving again because it just. It hurts. It hurts. Uh, I've yeah. got, I've got a knack now. So I hook my heel on between the mattress, and then use that to pull myself round because my core strength, like being such an a, an Adonis, like you know what I mean, it really, yeah. st- I really struggle. Like I don't want to overwork my core strength, so I try to use my foot in between the mattress, like the two sides of the mattress, just to help my leg pull me up. That's yeah, that's yeah no, I, get that. I get that. Out of bed. Hmm. I, I do now wake up tired. What's that all about? Yeah. How do you wake up tired? Sleep, yeah. Is that one of the dwarfs? Night. Yeah. Wake up sleeping. Oh, I just wake up dopey. Just don't wake takes up properly. Good, takes me a good two hours to wake up in the morning. I'm not even joking. Yeah. I've always been like that. That's not an age thing. That's just a me thing. Oh, yeah. the wrong one. I bet Dave confirming he's a doctor. Yeah, yeah. He is. <coughs> is he? he is. He is. Yeah, still cycle to work at least three times a week. Fair play to you. I don't, I don't cycle, I've, I've, I've cycle more than twice Jane, a year. I see Janie's actions the other week. And I, I'm like, mate, I don't know how you do it. I got my 40, 48th birthday coming up, and I'm absolutely. I feel like I'm going to be turning 88. But like I say, my mental age is still about ten because I, I can't stop laughing. Uh, uh, Getting uh, good uh, far. Mate, no. I'm 49 funny. in July, and I feel like I'm turning 79 sometimes. I don't know. You lot are so old. So old. Nice old man. So what do you guys have for breakfast nowadays, anyway? Now you're getting older. Is it like muesli and stuff? I, <laughs> muesli. Well, I, I, no, I, have, um, I normally start off with a bowl of overnight oats with chia seeds uh, and oat milk. Yeah. Um, I can't imagine can oats... being serious on that. I have gl- uh, gluten-free bread. Um, How do you have that pro- bread? Protein, protein-free uh, meat. How do you have the and, bread? Uh, and I finish it... the day on sugar-free trifle. How do you have that bread? Is it cold or do you warm it? Uh, no, it's, well, bread's never cooked enough. We have to double cook it and then toast it. What is my toast, 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 the apparatus? What is my toast, 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 the apparatus? What is my toast, 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 the apparatus? What is my toast, 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 the apparatus? Ik kan hem niet vinden in de keuken, kan hem niet vinden op het toilet. Kan hem niet vinden in de kamer, had ik maar beter op hem gelet. Hij staat ook niet in de bijkeuken en ook niet in de schuur. Ik zag hem net nog liggen in de la 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 Sorry, we've always got to bring it round to that somehow. And you, you lined it up nicely for us. <laughs> going, going back to that, I, I, I've actually never eaten any of that stuff in my life. Um, no. So that was a complete lie. There was no way in this world I would eat overnight oats, not with uh, not with chia seeds. I have no idea what they are. Um, not sure. Oh, and I gluten-free wondering bread, there's no point. Do you know what I mean? If you can't add the gluten in it, I don't want it. I was like, I don't know, Mrs. Blake's in the beer all over that. <laughs> loves it. Loves it. I'm, a, I'm a real one. I, I have uh, Rice Krispies. Snap, crackle, or pop. Yeah, well, well, it's the same, same version, but, you know. I don't eat in the mornings. I can't be I can't be asked till about 10, and I could just eat a horse. I'm starving at 10. What sort of horse? Race horse? <laughs> 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 Whichever, horse. really. Any field I drive past. Pony. Some unexpected horse in there. I just dive in. 
The only time start I have with, breakfast is it? Uh, yeah, he great. likes it at Horsecar. Jay, is that really your ringtone? I think we've had this conversation before. <laughs> no, Vibes are a victim of a rape now. Yeah, yeah sorry, Mel, Vibes. It does happen every so often. Oh. Overnight, oats and Biscoff. I like a bit of Biscoff. But then you a sugar free version of Biscoff. Is there any sugar in Biscoff? Probably. There's sugar in everything. Isn't is, it? It, is there any sugar? <laughs> if you look at the ingredients, it's probably the first thing sugar. on the list. It's some sort of toffee based thing, isn't it? It's got to be full of sugar. Like a, anything, t- anything that tastes nice has got yeah. sugar. Oh, it's not cracking pop, that's making it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pretty, much, pretty much the same, Matt, if I'm honest, mate. Pretty much the same. But snap, cracker, one pop. I don't have a. I don't have breakfast. I wake up, take the boys to school, and then I grab a Costa. That's me done till about lunchtime. Nice. He's medically retired. I thought that said something else, but uh, yeah. <laughs> it looked to be still working. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just. I think, I'm, I'm not a cereal man, if I'm honest. If it's cereal, it has to be crunchy, like cornflakes, maybe. But. That's or wheat a bit possibly, but it's got to be hot milk. Nah, Golden Grahams, love them. Do you remember them? That's an oh, American thing. Cinnamon right? ones. It's cinnamon toast, like cinnamon. Cinnamon, minimum, minimum, minimum. Cinnamon, minimum, minimum. Do, 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 do. do like a bit of cinnamon, minimum. Cinnamon's great. I haven't had a good cinnamon e liquid for years. You know, I used to love a bit of cinnamon e liquid. Uh, there used Talking to be one cinnamon, cinnamon which was lovely. Mm. Anna, Anna's all over cinnamon blaze. From IVG, she likes cinnamon blaze. Yeah, but is that is that like a cakey one or? Mm, no, it's. Mm, I've got a bottle. I try How are you it. In? It's not really my kind of bag. It's not my. It gives me up there. I don't. I, it's not my. It's not my jam. I buy honey and I kiss it on the lips. My jam, baby. <sighs> I like we're, not, we're not going to talk about buttered sausage right now. Are we? Sausage. Oh, uh, Collins but, once stood on a box of cornflakes. He's a serial killer. Hey. <laughs> here a week. He's here a week. A lot of people like crave and stuff like that. Anything with chocolate. When I was a kid, chocolate. Not, anything with chocolate. For me, those yeah, craves are a bit out. too much. You get a bit sickly after about four spoonfuls. That's what you're supposed to have, isn't it? 33 grams is the average size of a cereal. A serving of cereal. I bet if everyone weighed their cereal out, it wouldn't be 33 grams. I guarantee you that. Mm. But I'm well, I am well excited because Mars, Mars and Snickers now have, both, have started doing high protein, low sugar. Two grams of sugar per bar. So I can have some chocolate and it actually tastes like Mars bar. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. Got well excited when I found them. Not What's cheap, though. Peanuts. Um, Full of peanuts. Is it Snickers or Marathon? Uh, well, it's the same thing, isn't it? Starburst or Opal Fruits? For me, it um, was Opal Fruits. <coughs> for me, it was Opal Fruits. Um, um, <laughs> Snickers was always Snickers for me. I never knew it as Marathon. Snickers. I'm too young. Yeah, I did. I'm, I'm young enough to, to remember Snickers. 84, mate. Oh, marathon. Years. Marathon. That's what I meant. Marathon. 40. I think the king of king of the king of the chocolate bars out there has got to be a star bar. Got to be a star bar by Miles. Or a picnic. Mm, don't know. Star bar, star bar beats picnic, I'm afraid. Well, I don't know. Oh, uh, Heartburn. Acid indigestion. No, I put, mine's a toss between Snickers, a boost, boost bar, and a boost is good. I'm I'm Ooh. crunchy. Crunchy and Snickers, me. I always used to like Topic. My mum used to always buy Topic. New <coughs> Topics, right? Remember the mm. Topics? Yeah, I love like a bag munchies. of Munches. Do you like Munches? Anyone like oh, Munches? Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, that used to be good. Which Does anyone remember a, when you... They come in a big pack or a little thing, don't they? Yeah, but the normal well, Munches... Top, top or the, top normal ones. Normal ones. Don't they do mint ones as well? Yeah, the After 8 ones are lovely. I hate mint. I hate mint chocolate. Okay. A little bit. I hate it. <laughs> chocolate orange? I hate no, I don't uh, like no, no. I, I like chocolate and I like orange, but when it's put together, it's it's just like uh, uh, mango. Do you ever think so? I have this thing of, of like mango. I wonder why a manufacturer's orders have to take things too far. So so think say Jaffa cakes and they bring out they're not they're no longer Jaffa cakes, it's lime, or they bring it out with 
something else. Cherry. You've ruined it now. You've completely ruined yeah, it. No, like, it's yeah, not I'm what sure, it's I'm about. Sure they do a, a cherry one, don't they? They do. Tropical fruit, I think they do. Oh, Whisper. Yeah, Whisper's good, Lizzie. Yeah, Whisper's are good. I do like a lion bar as well. Something else sure. I like. Right, I, I love like a good personality. I love that uh, someone's put Twix there. I, I love that advert for Twix. You got them two twins sitting there camping. They got the bears behind them, and they go. <laughs> they and crunch. I, 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 I love the crunch and the snap. Yeah. yeah. I'm not the yeah. too fond of Lindors. Oh, see, I like them. The normal one, the the like original, the red, the bright red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other ones are a bit near. Yeah, they're fucking expensive, aren't they? Mm. I do like a, I do like a, and she's brilliant. It's just I'm common as hell, but I do like a bit of exquisite chocolate, like a, a really high cocoa sort of bitter chocolate. <coughs> I used to like a bit of Tesco Value chocolate. Nice. Fruit and nut is my is my is my big chocolate bar of choice. Oh, I like a bit of fruit and nut. Oh. All right, well we've done chocolate bars, old men. Let's do. I heard I heard cake mentioned. Cake. cake. Victoria sponge or lemon drizzle for me. Oh, um, coffee sponge. cake red, or lemon drizzle for me. Red red velvet. That was a bit of red, red velvet. velvet. For my birthday, I normally have a Victoria sponge cake with rhubarb compote and um, a vanilla buttercream. And Ooh. I don't want none of that to all over it. I just want a plain old Victoria sponge. That's me boring. But it's got to be nice. good. Loads of fruit in it that is that is what one thing i really miss is cake cake like chocolate chocolate i can live with live with or live without it um carrot cake yeah see carrot cake is good. sweets i'm not really fussed that i don't eat sweets very often i found some sugar-free ones but they they're naff but cake, any cake all cake any cake i hate cake cake i did a Last Easter, the the indoors made me a sugar free coffee cake, and it was actually really good. Um, uh, coffee but, and walnut, I like. It's just not very many recipes for sugar free cakes, and most of them that are sugar free taste naff. Tastes like ass. Yeah, true. It like it's ass. Like cake for him as well. Minus sugar, it's... minus flavour. A lot of people say that. A lot of people go, you know what? If it's not the original thing, I'd rather not have it at all. Mm. Kind of mar mars what your what your remembrance was, Mr. Earl. Chris Earl, how are you, mate? How do you doodly? How do you doodly? I'd rather uh, Lizzie would rather have cake than alcohol. <gasps> what? How about I, an alcoholic cake? I don't really drink, so I'm with you there. I don't know. I, I, I bought think some, I'm not endorsing it, but I bought some um, brew dog black heart yesterday. Like a, a dark stuff. I, I had that at Christmas. It's quite um for me it's quite gassy. Yeah. It might yeah, be chunky a little bit. Key lime pie is your specialty. I, mean, I, I poured it into a glass and I was I'm expecting to even just a, a tiny really bit of head and I thought I poured it wrong. So I looked at the box. I'm supposed to turn it upside down, turn it back, open it, and then when you get a glass, just pour it, just do that, just oh. let it come out. I thought, great, do that. I was like yeah, brilliant. It's it's not it's not Guinness. No, I could be Guinness. Maybe fireball. Yeah, I'm Guinness a bit. The other week. I don't hate Guinness, but it's not one of my favourites. I like the big Guinness. Black See, Guinness is one drink I could probably drink quite easily because it, there's no sugar in it. Yeah, that's true. Very very little. Um, it's delicious. So, which which is good. Uh, but, um, um, <laughs> Guinness oh, extra oh, man. Um. Kettle black and all that. Oh, yeah, but I was a little bit gassy this morning. Oh, well, yeah. Oof. Mm. I bought some thinking Rumble in the jungle, Guinness, but it wasn't. It was. Nah. I um, I don't. I'm a bit boring with my um beverages, alcohol wise. I literally just beer or cider, lager or cider. That's pretty much me. Lager, gas, what sort of lager? cider, cider. I love. What sort of lager? If I if I want like four pints and then go to bed, I'd probably pick Cronenberg. If I wanted um, to lengthen the night out, then I'd probably go with something like Carlin or Carlsberg. It's very really hoppy for me. Mm. Really hoppy. Guinness is epic. Three that, uh, different in Ireland. Yeah, because me and Helen, when we went on our first year anniversary, we went to uh, Dublin and we did the Guinness Brewery Tour. 
And they say they don't, because a lot of people have said, oh, yeah, it tastes different over here. And they said, well, they don't, they don't do anything different. But what, what me and Helen uh, come to surmise was, because any of the bars that is in Dublin that have Guinness, it's, it's almost part of the contract, you know, saying, oh, you, you can you can sell Guinness here, is that one of their engineers comes out every two, three weeks and the the pipes and the tanks and that get cleaned out regularly. So whether it's just that the, the clean the tanks or something called pipes or whatever, I don't know. But I said they don't make it any different over there. But, but you say that like dairy milk biscuits. chocolate tastes better from Ireland. A little if, island. They, if you get some dairy milk chocolate, it always tastes better from Ireland. Don't ask mm -hmm. me why. It's the Irish cow of Stella, Stella. There's Cor a bit of a difference. Stella and Coors. Stella. Yeah, it's <laughs> just really different there, isn't it? Oh, yeah. rum and coke, Aaron. I do love a rum and coke. I don't drink a lot of spirits, but if I was going to, it's Jack Daniels. Oh, it's not, rum and coke. One, yeah, but it's uh, side of Jerry's. Rum. Yar. Are you a pirate? I am. Yar. Just Yar. changing the subject a little bit. We are double oh. duty this week. We will be yeah. on the Vey Presso group. Yep. On Thursday at 8 o'clock with a live unboxing and first thoughts on the Cube, which I think yeah, Dave's got one that he can show you. Yeah, as long as it turns up. Before I'm... There we go. So we will be doing yeah, live unboxing. Magnificently small. Review. It's tiny. First thoughts, anyway. Not a review. It won't be a full review. It'll be our, our initial thoughts. Yeah, yeah. yeah unboxing and just look around it and stuff really and just have a chat with whoever joins us see i don't mind color but if i could pick i'd definitely go forest green I'd, i've got a really <coughs> green mods at the moment I'd do like i'm probably green. thinking bondy green, green honest but oh, really mine will probably turn up and it'll be pink <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i don't I, we won't get we definitely haven't got a choice because they were sent today so it would be whatever yeah, yeah whichever whatever they've picked up no, because I'll tell you what I did say the other day that looked really nice, and I'm not really, I'm more of a colour man now, but the grey, grey silver looks absolutely for pictures looks really good. Have we got? We haven't I've got, got one pod in that. Uh, some, let, me, let me have a little. Uh, have we got them accessible? Yeah, probably. Two seconds. We have got. Oh, we haven't put them in yet, have we? Give me two seconds. I'll bring bring up the old website. Oh. Oh. Um, make sure everybody, whilst Steve's having a quick look, that you put X1 in chat if you are interested in receiving something of niceness from receiving a reach round from the boys, Vapresso and Spurgo. Yeah. It will be salts. So if you if salts sent your thing, probably best not to enter, unfortunately. But don't worry, there'll be short fills coming in other weeks. Uh, Dave, you going to Expo? I'm going to Expo. Of course I'm going to Expo. I've booked all three days off. I shall be going. I'm not sure if I'm staying or whether I'm going to be driving every day, but Ooh. I am Expo bound in May. I am not the first one out of the last six that I'm not going to. You're not going? I thought you were going. Yes, and I don't know yet. Um, yes, the hotel has been booked, but whether the wife can get the time off is yeah. a different question. There you go. Look at that. Oh, lovely. Look at that. There you go. So we've got black, grey, silver. Ocean blue is quite nice as well. Cyber lime. Yeah, I quite like yeah, the one that you've got there, Dave. The cyber lime. I quite like Pink. Yeah. Bondi oh. blue and forest green. Yeah, I say I really like the forest green. But that's... Yeah, the forest green looks all right. Yeah. I actually like all of them. I'd, I'd wear all of them. I'm big on green at the moment. Can he... I, think, I always think the black devices look classy. But then, yeah. when you're wearing something, especially like the Bondi, do you know what I mean? Like the Bondi's one that everyone, I think, loves that colourway. I, I, like, I like the Bondi blue in the um, Cross 3 Nano, but I'm not sure about it on the Cube. Yeah. There's a bit more, the bit, there's more orange in there this time. A lot yeah. more orange. Oh, but, you know, I'm, oh, I'm just, uh, just grateful that we're, we're getting one. So. Yeah, man. For sure. For shizzle, there we go. Let's... That'll be fun. That'll be fun. That'll be very different for us because it's on a totally different platform. It'd and be nice to see you guys it's open it and have your first thoughts. Do you know what I mean? Because a lot of people don't get to see first thoughts. Do you know what I mean? We've done it once before where we opened it live on air with the um, fun with innovations, 
And it's kind of yeah. exciting when you do that, do you know what I mean? And it, it does. But it's it's one of them ones that I thought, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to be completely honest, I thought, mm, I actually thought that that would be getting in the way, but it, yeah. it doesn't at all. And I think the direct airflow is, but that's I'll, my opinion. We'll, we'll find I'll, out I'll on first. I'll be honest, and I was honest earlier on when we spoke before the show, 900 milliamp battery, I'm a bit like, mm. Is it a step back? But that's me. That's just personal thoughts. Well, so, not to, I've not, not tried to, it yet. So. It won't ruin your first go, but no. what I would advise you to do is <coughs> bag some 1.0 pods, right? I've got and, some. And try the 1.0 pod in it. I think it gives equivalent flavour to the 0.6 in the, in the Q because of that direct airflow through the bottom. It's almost like the flavour is insane. I'm going to go with I'm going to go with a flavour I really really know as well. I've got some Nevermore ready. Obviously, I use a lot of yeah. that. So I, mean, I, didn't I, know, I didn't know you used Nevermore. <laughs> Sometimes that's not going to uh, focus. That's what I'm going to go with Steve. It's either going to be cherry ice. or cherry ice. That's what I'm going I just to think with. to give it a fair go, I need to do it with a flavour I really know well. You do. Um, <laughs> I do that with every device. Every time I get a new device, I always put something in there that I know is going to. It's always normally Dr. Bates remix, if I'm honest, only because it's blue. I get to see whether there's any leaks, if there's anything. Um, and then that way I can find out exactly if there's a leak coming from it. It, it shows up on a... I have my testing kit here. This is my testing kit. It's uh, very expensive. It's a uh, pure baby um, cotton buds. Nice. And um, basically, whenever I get a new device, I try it and I rub one of them around it because it's blue juice. If it comes out on there, I know where it's coming from. Pods that come with a cube are the 0.8 and the 1.0, I believe. Cool. Okay. And then we had a question from Matt as well. So, uh, well, a statement. As soon as he saw the lilac Q2SE earlier, he knew he had to have it. Right. There is certain colours, isn't there? There's certain colours with everything. Yeah. I think you see it and you're like, I need that. Shiny. Shiny, shiny. It, is, it is shiny ice. Yes. Um, I've got to admit, this is the first black device I've had for ages and ages. See, I can't do black. I don't know. I don't know what it is at the moment. It's black and for me is not. Nice. Scott, how are you, mate? Nice to see you. Um, yeah. I just, I'm, a, I'm, I am very much becoming a pod guy. Don't get me wrong. I still love my direct to lung kits. I still love tinkering around with RDAs for juice reviews and that. I really enjoy that, but. For convenience, I, I find myself reaching for this, or I find myself reaching it, this. Probably quite a bit now recently, and yeah, I'm, things I'm, like this, it's just easy for the car, you know. I'm definitely moving over to Burroughs a lot more now recently than Pod Systems. I'm moving a bit away from the pods, even though I've got a couple on the go now. But um, yeah, since I've got the shift, it's hard. It's one of those hard to put down uh, Burroughs. It is San Ios on my list for my birthday, so. I'm hoping I'm going to grab one of them. Probably in purple, I'm hoping. Got a bit of a feel for purple in a minute. Oh, there we go. Look. I had to I had to grab one because I've got like the purple Odin and the purple... Um, let's just go with my collection, really. I'll tell you what is... Um... But it comes with a shift, which is lovely. <laughs> What's selling quite well on, on the website recently? We've sold quite a few of those nitrous AIOs. They seem to be quite popular. The only thing I will say about this is the door is awful. Um, so I have had I've had words with a guy down here who does cust in Devon that does custom panels. So hopefully I can get one of those made up uh, clear, mm. maybe a clear purple or something, see through purple. Just suck off a purple. I do like a bit of purple. That's not why we do that. I wouldn't have done it purple otherwise. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite cool. I just thought it made a nice contrast orange on purple. I'm going to hold myself a San I.O. as soon as I can. Mm. It well, definitely well, get, get a 0.6 GTX call in that, in that shift bar up, Matt. You'll be on it all day. I'm I'm still using the original coil that came with the shift. It's lasting quite good, actually. I would say the flavour maybe is not as good as a Vapresso coil, but I've not had any leakage, which is really good because it was sat for a few days. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Uh, yeah, that's this takes the GTX coils as well. But I've actually got the Dovepo coil that comes yeah. with. Um, 
and I've had a couple of leaks in it already. So I'm not sure whether it's the burrow or whether it's the actual coil in there, but I'm going to try it for GTX coil once I get back and uh, and I'll find out what, what, what things, but probably end up getting a shift burrow now. I'm impressed with them because they've not actually, I've had one drip come out of that. So um, I'm super impressed. I can never remember never remember his name off the top of my head, but he's it's Stacks Stacks Customs, who does the doors down my way, and his work's pretty good. Um, there's also Carrot Labs; they're very good. For yeah, customers. Alex, I've got a set of doors for my stubby from Carrots. Yeah. So yeah, de definitely those two, Aaron. Look into uh, Stacks and Carrot Customs. Both do lovely doors. Failing that, have a go yourself like I did. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not the yeah. best, but... Get, get someone nice to send you a uh, set of doors. Yeah, that's what I've done. Mr. Kurt sent me a set of black doors. I thought I don't... That's the only thing I don't like about the stubby, is it? <coughs> the original doors just restrict that airflow a bit too much, do you know what I mean? They do, yeah. yeah. And so that's why I've done that. Plus, it's nice to see the bar open. Yeah, especially if you've got like something nice, bright colored burrow, like the sh like the shift or other. It's, it's other nice burrow to see the juice as nice. well. Matt's got his shift burrow in the Lost Folks Insurance mm. B60. Mm. Still tempted with those B60s. I am. They are well worth a little. They look quite cool. Go. Um, yeah. Am I right in saying the 60s is the internal battery? The 80s, yeah, it's, the it's, it's perfect for like out and about mm. if you just grab and go, like if you don't want to take batteries with you. Ideal. Yeah. Because the shift barrel is 5 mil, isn't it? So, you, I mean, it's literally half a bottle and you're yeah. done pretty much for the time. Well, I mean, I fill mine up. Lasts a good day, easy. T twice a day, possibly. Sometimes. <laughs> Depends on how stressed I am. Thanks, Lizzie. Thank you for getting well, on Discord. Well. I literally keep getting on got Discord. Mm -hmm. Right, should we uh, run this shizzle? Bit? Well, as they say, that I best. Uh... We, we better add, really, haven't we? Have, I mean, got... have we got a few X ones? I, I get that not everyone's going to be up for it because it's sorts, but I think we have got a few. There was a few earlier, like a fair few earlier. X ones. Uh, we have got fifteen in there at the moment. Fifteen. That's cool. Right, last last time. X one in the comments. Yeah, give it another couple of minutes, just in case. Just some parcels. Lux X. Some funky little cool bits of merch from Vapresso and some bar juice, which is actually properly picking up traction on the website. So that's really good. And in the shop. The shop especially. People are like, because obviously we have people come in the shop that are all about um, bar juice, 5,000 and Alflick, because that's what people want these days, let's face it. Um, and more often than not, in fact, probably 90% of the people that come in now after Bar Juice and Alflick, as soon as they've, they've found out that they're a thing and they're made in the UK, stuff like that, people seem to be going for them. So that's good news. Did you, um, that, that day that I come in here and that guy that, that ended up getting some of them Bar Juices, has he been back in for more? Or is he, or is he just like a fleeting customer? Or is he, no, he's a regular and I th I'm pretty sure he has. I'm pretty sure he has, which is, is good. He, he, he went for the cherry cola, I think. Mm. Yeah, we've yeah. had a few returning customers for the bar juice to be fair yeah it's right it's good it's good it's very sweet for me you know but if you're used to those sweet flavors it's going to be ideal yeah if yes. you're coming off disposable or whatever the cherry like i say the cherry cola is really nice it's not i don't find that too sweet it's strawberry cherry raspberry that's flying out that one mate's got the cherry cola bar juice in mm. the cost pro i do like uh, that. Patch yeah, out. I do like that Although to say that for us, that has not sold as well as banana is it ice. Not? Pineapple has been our mm. top sellers. The other one that's been doing really well is the jacked cherry ice. The jacked cherry ice is uh, not cherry ice. The jacked pineapple ice is really popular. I think I try that one. So I want to try that one. That's the next one for me to try. But um, the raspberry and rhubarb that didn't last five seconds. That is the jacked raspberry and rhubarb. If you like rhubarb, that's I could. Solid rhubarb with a uh, with a nice bit of raspberry. To be fair, um, I tell you what, I did have um, on the go yesterday, and it didn't last long. Is and I did, it finished this morning with some 
Um, Bino from Endo Warriors. Jane Johnson. And that is a really good black currant Ribena, to be fair. Um, I, reckon I'd, I reckon I'd like that because I love a Ribena flavour. And it's not too co it's not cold either. It's got no cooling in it. It's not too sweet. It's a good, solid Ribena flavour. <coughs> um, I had that in a 1.0 pod in the cube and that, that lasted me about 30 hours. And that's including a few hours sleep. Monday's yeah. already after me because I leave home at three o'clock in the morning, so I'm vaping earlier. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. that didn't last long, to be fair. I'm on a lemon drizzle, uh, lemon drizzle cake salt at the minute, so yeah. nice, and that's quite nice as well. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not tried those salts yet. I might have to have a little look into them. Give oh. Jane a hit up. I don't, she's not got a website, but if you give Jane a shout, she's quite good at sending yeah. it quick, quick sending it out. So, yeah. well, let's get this. Uh, it's getting done. Uh, oh, give that a little wee shuffle. Good luck, Beatles. peoples. Good luck, everybody. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. All right, good luck, everybody. It's going to be. So unlucky, man. So close. So close. Ben -M -M. Yeah, I'll make uh, Ben drop me a message. Um, try not to use Discord because I keep forgetting we got it. Um, <laughs> drop me a message. Um, which milligram strength of salt you would like, sir? And I will get those sent out with the um, Lux X. Tomorrow and a few bits and pieces. And thank you, Vapresso, and thank you to Spurgo. Thank you very much. Thank you. What's your best British? Hmm? What's my best British? Oh, it's, it's a surprising that a lot of people don't realise that Disperco is actually UK brand. Mm. Really? Are they not? Yeah, I spoke to a few people and they didn't realise that Disperco, actually, where I'm working in Hampshire, they were like, I'm like, there's a, you know, there's a, a juice manufacturer that's just up the road from here that's us UK and it's, like, do you know what I mean? And they're like, what? And then they're like, oh, I, didn't, I thought they were, I didn't realise they were a UK brand. I was like, yeah. Disperse you. Yeah, that's fine, Ben. That's fine, mate. I'll get that sorted out for you tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're a thing. We're not massive. We're just like, we're still a relatively small company. But we we, we do what we love. And yeah, hopefully people like it. For me, the resource. I'm a resource fan. It's not massive. Okay. It's, not, it's not that double shot and cold. And, but yeah. then I'm an experienced, so I'm not looking up for that. Aaron HD Vapor, I have a shift barrow tank you can have. Thank you very much, Mr. Aaron. Ah, oh, isn't that nice? Nice one. I've got three on the go now. Shifts 11. Okay, in there. Yeah, do you know what? I, so I'm tired of the TMD barrow, and that's good. The, little, the TMD barrow is good, but the thing is, and you've got them little cotton bits at the bottom, and that they're there for a reason and they soak up the juice. You don't get that in the shift barrow tank and it doesn't leak. So, and they are, they have a disappointing thing with the TMD is that it, you can only use like 0. 0.4, 0. 0.3. Oh, sorry, no, Steve. sorry, not 0. 0.4, 0. 0.3, 0. 0.2. Mr. Mark. How are you, mate? And I wanted it for salts. So when the <laughs> shift barrow come out, that was it. I was just like, yes, need it. Got yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a winner for me with salts. I love mine. I really like it. And it's it's becoming a firm favourite of mine, that's for sure. But because it's a stubby and I get a bit anal about taking nice bits of kit out on me, I tend to leave it at home. Yeah, but then you get like me, you've got a collection going of stuff that you don't take out and you don't and you end up not using them. Like Yeah, it's true. It's true. Like the stubby, for instance. Because I had so many of them. Kurt's got about forty thousand pounds worth of mods that he does doesn't even use. Probably, yeah. I do. I love the form factor of this, though. I think it's just it's gorgeous looking. I don't know about the drip tip. I put this drip tip on last night, and I'm not sure. But I've not tried the Voltro yet. I've seen them. Mm. I've seen them. 
Uh, yeah, the flavour on that GTX coil is, is is spot on with that cherry ice, and I've had that cherry ice a lot. No, it's not cherry ice. Sorry, it's black currant and cherry. I'm lying. Oh which which of the GTX coils are you using? It uh, zero point eight. I've got in there at the moment. I use a zero point six. Yeah, I have a lot of customers that rave about the zero point six. I just think since the zero point six cross pods come out. It kind of brought the point six really for me. It's it's the king of flavour. Do you know what I mean? It's you get a nice, you get a nice sort of turnaround on it. So it's well, if, if you've got a stubby, you've these people on here coming up saying I've got a stubby, but just grab yourself a shift bar and stick a GTX coil in it and thank us all later. Mm -hmm. it's, it really will. It does open up that world of. I mean, don't get me wrong. The original tank it come with the you know, RBA or RDTA, whatever you call it, with the stainless steel wires. It's good, but uh, my uh, my hands are massive. And at the minute, with my dodgy hand, I can't build like I want to. Do you know what I mean? So sticking a GTX coil in, in a shift bar for me is where it's at. Yeah. yeah. I, don't think get, I don't think you get massively different flavour. Depends on what you want to run and depends how hardcore you are. Do you know what I mean? Ben. Ben. Leave <laughs> the top side. Out of the conversation, okay. It's it's around. It's around. It's a lot of it's boxed at the moment. Okay, I'll try and remember to bring it to Expo, and I will vape it in front of you, mate. Vape it. Full trove. I definitely think I need to try. But what's your what's your thoughts on the new the, the, the new tall boy? Have you seen that? The new what? Sorry, the tall boy. Tall boy. Yeah. Tall oh, boy I've seen that. Um. Just I didn't like. I'd say I didn't like the burrow that come with the stubby. I didn't like that tall one. I just wasn't wasn't for me. Um, I haven't really looked at that tall boy very much because again, it's a big. I don't, you could only really use that in a stubby, can't you? So I think if you're, I think you'd use that in a stubby, and you'd only use it if you was a sub like sub in it. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's pointless. The, 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 the shift for salts, you get five mils in that. That's well enough, do you know what I mean? I don't think it needs to be any bigger. I think you'd start losing flavour, if I'm honest. Quite expensive, don't it? Uh, it's not yeah. too bad. It's not too bad. 38 quid. Oof. Out of stock. Well, at least the matte black is. Stainless steel's in stock, by the looks of it. Nah. Oh, they all out, yeah. when, they, when they say they're out of stock, they haven't got them in yet normally. That's quite... Oh, gold hello. Like, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we're all sort of places, and we're back again. And we're back again. Uh, Matt Green can go on with the stubby tank. Yeah, I just... I, I don't know. I've got so many things here that I keep meaning to use, and I just don't, because RDAs... Not RDAs, RTAs especially, I am severely shit at using. <laughs> I can't wait. I think with any RTA, right, it's like once you get it right and you get it right a couple of times, you just seem to get it right all the time then at that point. And then it's a lot, a lot of things. With, with, an, with an RDA, it doesn't matter. You are kind of as a when and do what you like, really. But with an RTA, you've got to get that wicked right, whether it be a rebuild of a white mice or whether it's a, a, a tank that, right, with a 510. It's, you've got to get it right. And if you don't, some people just lose the will to live because they're either getting dry hits or it's, mm -hmm. it's in liquid everywhere. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. So I think Definitely. just for me, shift thorough so much easier. <laughs> if someone's done all the hard work, I just plug it in and go. Do you know what I mean? Five minutes later, I'm on my way. Lazy. That's, that, that comes with age. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, I, I don't like to label it as lazy. I like to label it as energy efficient. <laughs> I just, I'm conserving my energy for something more needed at some point in time. I don't know when that will be or if it will ever be needed, but to be fair, I've, I've lost the will to live on Saturday when I was trying to put a tin shed together with about 9 million billion screws and cut my hands like I've been shaking hands for 25 hours with Edward Scissor hands. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah. It was supposed to be a vape den of some sort, but it's not going to be that because I've just filled it up with took. If I'm honest, there's not enough room in it. So I was quite disappointed. So I spent all day making it and then filled it with rubbish and then didn't I'm not gonna get to use it for I wanted to, but there we go. You need like so, an outside freezing cold shed like I've got. That's what you need, Dave. Do you know what? Ian, I'd love an outside freezing cold shed. Mm -hmm. One with kind of a nice backdrop, 
nice bit of lightage in there. Do you know what I mean? I'll be a happy man. It's cold though. It's cold. Oh, I end up being up in the bedroom more than I do down here, to be fair. Oh, a fan heater. Speaking of which, I'm going to open a window now just because I'm a bit warm in the hotel. I'm in a hotel. I'll put it on 30 degrees. What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? What Sometimes I'll run the shower for two hours just before I get in it. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Why not? If I do that at my house, I go, hey, you don't know, shut up. Not in there yet. <laughs> I tell you what did surprise me, and this thing, this is another thing about getting old. When you go and have to buy something like what I call a non-sexy purchase, so like a shower head or a shower hose, something that's that, that that's just part and parcel of life that you have to have. It's a non-sexy purchase, right? Yeah. And then you go there, and you, you come out there seventy quid later with like a shower head and a hose, and you think this is what my life's come to. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. uh, do you know, yeah. like not good. Adult in. Yeah, yeah. I, I look at things now and I just go, yeah, that's the San AIO, or that could have gone towards a vape smarter. Or... Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, yeah. whereas I think completely different, I, I'm, I'm like, screw the house. Let's, let's get vape stuff. Let's get vape stuff. <laughs> yeah, let's get yeah. the San AIO. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, 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 think... rent, so I rent, so it doesn't matter if something breaks, I'm not fixing it. Uh -uh. Oh. <laughs> Same Shower heads can be sexy in the in the right context, apparently, Matt. So, yeah. oh, no, it's a non-sexy purchase. It's like knives and forks and plates. Oh, boring, boring. Oh, if you're talking <laughs> TVs and um, stuff like that, then it's a bit yeah, different. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. It winds me up when, like, I ask my wife, "Oh, what do you want? For, what do you want for your birthday?" And she says something like, "Plates, new <laughs> dinner set." Like, are you um, mad? Did you did you get her a Hoover for Mother's Day? No, she got, your, no, she got some um, Carolina dress room. Uh, I think they're called like active jogging bottoms. They're like the yoga style. Oh, things. okay, yeah, yeah. Guys, I'm going to be really unprofessional. Like, I need to go alone. I'm really sorry. Big, I'll be back in two minutes. Big um, with some big uh, desi big designs on them. Uh, she likes uh, her funky designs. Yeah, and then she got a necklace as well. So yeah. she got oh, she got pearl necklace for Mother's Day. Huh? <laughs> Eve, I think pearl <laughs> one. Yeah. Uh... I think I think yeah, it's 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 a sad state of affairs. I've literally for my birthday, I just asked for money so I could try and make. make... Yeah, but that's a bit different. That 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 that's towards. Yeah, Deb bought some plates the other week from um, a, somewhere that rhymes with Plesco's. She she liked that very much. No, this is everything. This is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, could you so That is the quickest urination I have ever known in my life, Dave. That's another thing about it's, getting it's still old. going. That's another <laughs> thing about getting old. Oh, I only had to go and empty my bag. I've got a bag. <laughs> my bag was full up. That's, that's another thing about it, Just have to change my bag. You put when you get start getting old, your prostate just goes, yeah, and no, I haven't done that, mate. Just gonna let it run. You know what I mean? Get <laughs> so. oh, yeah. some it. Yeah, it? yeah, let Matt say, and anyone that watches the very press lives know that Dave has to go to the toilet halfway through. This is me. This is what I do as well. In fact, I've managed an hour, That's and I haven't. We're always late, but I'm probably gonna have to go very soon. So we should it's probably end it here. Yeah. Before but, um, it's gone half past now. So. Congratulations to Ben Eminem. Ben Eminem. Well done, mate. Um, thanks, Faye Presso. And thanks to Spurgo. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in. As always, we appreciate it. Please hit that thumbs up on your way out if you haven't already. And make sure you pop over if you would like to and watch us um, talk about and vape the new Vapresso Cube on Thursday at 8 o'clock over on the Vapresso we'll Facebook group. We will group. be chatting about it. We will be there. There'll be some laughs. There'll be some giggles. There always is when we go live. And also, we'll yeah try it out and let you know what we we'll think. Try and be a bit more professional because it's not our. It's not. Try our to be. We yeah. We, uh, we've, we've got to be a little bit professional. Yeah, we'll, about, we'll give it a go. How See what happens. I'm not sure yet. It's been amazing. Well, thank you, guys, for having me on. Yeah. Thank yeah, you very much, Dave. We appreciate it. We appreciate it's been it. So I'm just going to find the button that I need to press. Press the button. There it is. is that the one? Oh, yeah, I've got so many in here now. So many in here. I'm just going to use that one because it's here. Um, yeah, thank you, everyone. We'll be back next week. We do not have a guest currently. 
Um, but yeah, who knows? Who knows? So take care. Um, keep it moist and erect. Erect where possible. Yeah. Take care. And see you soon. Oh, look at Dave with his balloons. See you later. Uh, Bye. Bye. Bye.